Hey guys, my name is Eve Guzman, also known as Eve Fit Chick on Instagram. I am a fat to figure competitor and I am going to be taking you guys through the next 12 weeks of my um, competition prep to the NPC stage in October and November of this year. So background on me, I did my first preps in 2016 I did two shows in April 2016 I did a, a third show in November 2016 all in the state of Indiana and my first show um, I placed I was fifth and then my second and third show I did not place and then I went on a bulk from November 2016 till about April or May of this year 2017 in April or May I decided okay I'm gonna start cutting trying to see how my metabolism t would respond to starting another prep and that's exactly what I did so I started just kind of seeing if you know hey is my metabolism gonna respond am I gonna be able to cut and get lean enough for the stage again and I was actually um, impressed with the results that I was having so I decided a couple weeks ago that I would meet with my coach Jennifer Sturges um, she is a figure competition coach she is also an Indiana um, NPC judge and owner of two local gyms um, I went with her to talk about you know how my off season went and then we got my measurements and everything going and I decided to go on full blown full blown prep so then I announced it on Instagram to everyone that I would be doing my show again and I've been using the hashtags fat to figure competitor um, and then half her size um, being that I've lost 154 pounds naturally my highest weight being at 277 pounds going from size 24 to a size two so the reasons why I'm doing this competition so um, one as much as I would love to win it's not all about winning and I'm not saying that to be cliche because I know people say that all the time but being someone who went from being severely obese and then becoming um, you know chubby and then average weight and then I eventually started lifting weights training in the gym taking my nutrition seriously by counting macros um, going through that whole transition from being obese to an athlete I really wanted to see if I could challenge my body again to beat the stage look that I had last year so of course I would love to place and take home trophies but number one I love competing against myself pushing myself to be the best that I can be and looking for you know that ne that next new um, best version of myself and then number two I'm doing this to show women no matter their size no matter their weight their age whatever whatever they have battled with their health and their fitness that if I can go from being 277 pounds and get on a stage in an itty bitty bikini um, get out there walk in those five inch heels do all of the figure poses um, in front of you know a couple thousand people on these stages that they can do anything they want to when it comes to anything in their life whether it be career changes um, goals that they want for their family goals that they want for their own businesses and then their mind their body spirituality everything so I definitely want to hold a torch for women and show them that they can find their inner wonder woman and be whatever they want to be and do whatever they want to do um, I am definitely a girl that went for it I had a dream of just becoming active Average, blending in with everyone else and hoping that you know one day I would go from just being like a size 24 to like a 12 or a 14 or you know even blessed enough to be a 10 and then things you know actually excelled um, faster than I thought because I pushed myself more than I thought I could and I was able to get down to a healthy weight for my body and for my frame so some physique updates for myself I am 5'1 I ended my prep at 142 pounds um, at that time I was still about like a size 4 or 6 last time when I got on the stage I was um, 119 122 and my last show I believe I was 124 pounds so I did my bulk 
and I gained about a half a pound to three-fourths of a pound every week um, lifting heavy for the past six months highest weight in April was 142 pounds I started a slow cut with food um, I was doing absolutely no cardio in my off season and then I started adding a day of cardio in and then it got to a couple days per week then three and then I made some other changes to my food so I started at 142 pounds at about 18 percent body fat last year I started at 19 percent body fat and got down to um, 9.86 percent so since the start of the bulk um, or the end of the bulk I went from 142 pounds um, down to 135 pounds where I announced that I was going to be doing my competition at about 18 percent body fat at my last check-in on Monday at the um, start of 11 weeks so concluding week 12 I lost two more pounds and it was about two and a half pounds of fat and I dropped two more percentages of body fat so now I'm down to 16 percent body fat so um, estimated goals for myself so my goal for my first show in October is to get down to 10 percent body fat and maintain that leanness till November I can envision myself getting to about 125 pounds so I have roughly nine pounds to lose but I'm just going to be using the scales one factor as I've always done in my journey and then I will be um, going off my body fat percentage, changes in inches, uh, my visible leanness, uh, my muscularity to really determine how ready I am for the stage. So how did week 12 go? So it was the first week um, cutting a little bit more food. So I dropped my carbs, I dropped my fat, and I dropped my protein. Um, I was bulking eating as much as about 170 grams of protein per day um, in my off season. I had also increased my carbs and my fats in my off season and I usually keep my full macros um, to myself because being a nutritionist and personal trainer and having a presence on social media I really try to make sure that um, I am making sure that the information that is going out is in a way that people know that what I'm doing with my nutrition and my workouts and supplements are what works for me and the things that I recommend to you guys are just that recommendations and I um, specify and custom customize programs for clients based on their body composition, their age, their weight, their height, their goals, their experience, their fitness level, the time that they have for the gym. So what I am doing for my macros won't necessarily work for someone else. If you were to use my macros and you assume that you were close to my height and weight, my macros could cause you to maintain your weight, they could cause you to gain weight, or they could cause you to lose weight. So I typically don't put them out there because I don't want someone to use them without guidance um, from a fitness professional and not get the results that they need. And then um, I don't know what their background is with any health conditions they have. So the first week went pretty well. I had to get used to cutting things. Um, in my off season, I was eating like three donuts a week. I love square donuts. Shout out to them in Fishers, Indiana. Um, but I love these square donuts. They're like a yeast kind of crispy cream donut with a chocolate glaze on top. I had to give those up. Um, I had to get my meats to be a little bit leaner. I started eating some lower fat percentage, ground turkey, um, fish, chicken breast, my beef is also leaner, and then I do a um, if it fits your macros nutrition program. So whatever fits my macros I consume. In my off season I do about 80% clean, 20% whatever fits, um, and then based on 
my um, needs for my prep and getting my micronutrients in I typically do 90% clean and then 20 and 10% whatever else um, so I mix white rice I have bread I have wraps I have brown rice red potatoes sweet potatoes white potatoes for carbs um, I do all meats I don't restrict myself as long as the protein and the fat content fit I have those so I've done that for uh, my first week of prep um, and then I do use um, sweeteners like um, stevia and splenda sometimes and I am using protein shakes and protein bars but I am starting to wean them out a little bit because they don't make you as full so I do do the flexible um, dieting with my macros but I make sure my foods are high in micronutrients and I'm also making sure that I'm getting the fiber that I need to stay full so I'm not just you know doing things like what people think you know um, if it fits your macros people are doing like eating whole pizzas and cakes and donuts and stuff all the time I eat it within reason um, and I work those things in as needed for my goals and for um, you know volume and fullness so I'm not experiencing a lot of hunger so the nutrition has went really well hydrating has went pretty well it's hot here in Indiana it's like 80 to 90 degrees most of the days so getting the water in is fine um, but my sleep has not been well um, I'm an entrepreneur um, I own G Transformation Fitness, so I am a online nutritionist and personal trainer. And one of the things that a lot of entrepreneurs know is that they always have ideas, their mind is always buzzing, they're always doing tons and tons of things. And it's hard for me to lay down and sleep at night. So the excitement of growing my business, um, helping other people, and taking you know my business and dreams to the next level keeps me up at night. So I find myself up at 12 a.m., uh, 1 a.m., 11.30 at night, so I'm not getting as much sleep as I want, but I'll keep you guys updated on the sleep that I'm getting. And then I'll also do some more information um, about what I'm doing to get more sleep but I'm trying to get more restful sleep I'm trying to get longer periods of sleep for recovery so that I'm not sore so on that note um, recovery has been a little bit rough I am waking up every day sore um, I am working out six days a week I take I'm taking one full rest day at this point but eventually that seventh day will become an active rest day as I need to get leaner for the stage but I'm lifting um, um, five to six of those six days and I'm doing about 15 minutes of cardio every day and I'm doing ab training about three days per week so um, I have long days I have long nights and I'm waking up tired so um, I can definitely tell that by week eight I'm going to be fatigued but I'm gonna keep pushing through um, so I will be giving you guys updates on the supplements and stuff that I'm using so I'll save that for another video where I can show you everything that I'm doing um, but my nutrition has been great my workouts have been pretty good I've been working out with other people to help push me more so you guys will see videos of them on my Instagram and that's at Eve underscore fit chick um, but I'm working out with other people to help push myself more than I would by myself um, and then hydration I mentioned and then sleep is what I also need to improve on um, exciting things that I have coming up for myself in the next week is um, picking out my new suit so last year I wore an emerald green suit this year I was blessed enough to be sponsored by angel competition bikinis so I did a survey on Facebook to show people a few of the bikinis that I want for figure and I wanted their um, input on what they think that I should pick and so um, I took some of the feedback into consideration and started shopping around but I will be revealing um, in the upcoming weeks what suit I chose um, once I get it in the mail from Angel Competition Bikinis but I will be interested um, to see what you guys think and then I may do like a black and white um, video or photo of the suit to see if people can guess what ch what colors I chose um, things that I will be doing differently this upcoming week um, I will be changing my workouts on a daily basis to um, 
kind of give myself variety and make sure that I'm not bored. Um, I'm going to continue to try to find um, cardio routines that are fun and then um, focus on filling my cardio sessions with watching some of my um, favorite YouTube people um, that are like fitness inspiration people to kind of push me through those workouts. If you guys have any recommendations of any great um, fitness YouTubers that you like to follow or or you suggest that I follow while doing some of my um, cardio routines as they increase in the next 12 weeks, please let me know and leave that down below in the comments. Uh, but my biggest focus this week will be the variety of workouts, um, getting more sleep, and then focusing on getting as many micronutrients as possible um, so that I can protect my immune system, have healthy gut health, and make sure um, that I'm not as fatigued with the workouts that I'm doing since they're more challenging now that I'm not getting as much fuel um, as possible. So what's up next for me? So in the next couple weeks, I will be showing you guys supplementation, um, the foods that I'm eating. You can also see these things daily on my Instagram story at Eve underscore Fit Chick. Um, I will also be sharing with you guys the struggles of the next Next 12 weeks whether that be physical um, whether that be um, mental everything I'm going to be sharing with you guys to keep you posted on my progress from fat to figure competitor so if you guys like this video please do me a favor and hit the like button and if you want to continue to um, see more information from me on the next 11 weeks of my prep please hit the subscribe button but until then I'll see you guys on the next one. Darling, you.